Hello everybody and welcome back to Fearless Friday. And I hope you guys have had an amazing week so far and are ready to head on to the weekend. Now um, I'm sure you got you guys got a lot of plans and I'm pretty sure you guys got things that you want to do this weekend, but I'm just glad that you decided to take a quick mo take a quick moment, this time out of your day, to start it off by listening to some Fearless Friday. So I'm glad you guys decided to tune in today. Now um the lesson that I have for today is mainly for graduating class of 2023. Um, this is just a little something that I that the Lord laid upon my heart. Just a small something to say for you to say for any graduates that may be watching, or if you know a graduate, um, and if you would like them to see this, see this after I get done tonight, then by all then by all means. But um, this is just a little something that the Lord laid upon my heart for those that are going to gonna be graduating or who, have, or who have already graduated and are moving on to um, college, whether they're going to be moving away, um, getting ready to go into a career of their own. But um, this is just something that I wanted to say to them. So, um, but before we do that, I wanted to take a quick moment right here to pray just to let the Lord lead me as we go into this and as we go into this. And for all of you guys that are watching, I hope this benefits any of you in any sort of way. So, dear gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've given us today, Lord. For today is called the present day because it always has been, always will be, and always is a gift from you, our Heavenly Father. And Lord, as we go into this tonight, Please help me to speak with the best of my ability. I pray that you speak through me, God, so that you may direct my words so that they may be the most beneficial to the people that are watching this today. And speaking of the people watching this today, help it to be beneficial to them, and not only that, but help them to spread this so that any graduate that needs to hear it today can and may benefit from it as well. And in Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. Now, as, as, um, as, all of, as we all know, there are people that are, there are students that have already graduated or in the process of graduating. And um, they're, they're, just about, they're just about ready to just get into it, you know. They're about ready to just go on straight to university, to college, wherever they want to go, to either um, continue education to get a degree in anything that they're trying to pursue in. There's those that have a career in mind that they're going to jump straight into as soon as they graduate, as soon as they get out there. But I wanted to talk about specifically the people that are full of uncertainty, uncertainty of what, of what they're going to do, uncertainty of how the future is going to look for them. And if I'm being honest, Nobody on this planet knows their future except for the Holy Spirit. Now, um, now what I wanted to expand on that is, is um, this is just something that, that, um, that I found that works a few people, works for a few people, I should say. Now, if somebody's going through a hard time of uncertainty about what the future holds, about what career they're going to pursue in, what relationship they're going to build. There's, um, there's something that I found that helps a lot of people. And um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is actually a good example for this because he likes to, he likes to fill himself with um, gratitude, I guess you could say, whenever, let's say, back when he was wrestling in WWE before a WrestleMania match would happen. He was always take a moment to himself and fill himself with gratitude. Whether uh, before a big movie comes out, he does that exact same thing. But um, the reason he does that is because of the place that he came from. See, see, he, see he's come a long way. And a lot of people like him have come a long way in their own, in their, in their own way, you know. But... Um, 
So he takes a quick moment to himself, quick moment to himself, and he says, "Okay, I was evicted when I was 14 years old. We got kicked off of Hawaii, and we could no longer live there. We had no place to live, had no money. I got cut from Canada, but now look at where I am." And um, he remembers, like one day he was just sitting down in his dad's truck with. Seven dollars, seven bucks in his pocket, but um, like in his ma in his mind, he has this drive and this passion and this will to move forward and to work as hard as he possibly can in order to get to where he wanted to go. See now, see now where he's at. He's a big star, you know. He's he's been to he's been in the WWE. He's made loads and loads of movies, but he always likes to take himself back to that seven bucks moment. Those well, seven bucks moments that I'd like that I'd like to say that I'd say. Now, and then because of these and because of these moments, he's able to remember those moments and actually use them to build himself up in a sort of way. Now, what? that compares to y'all graduates, here's what I want you to think. Like, you've come a very, very long way, right? You've started from, you either, you've probably been homeschooled ever since, ever since day one. You've probably just been to normal schooling. You've been to, you've been from pre-K to kindergarten, to elementary school, middle school, high school, and now you're, now you've graduated. But the thing that I want to say, the thing that I want to say to you is just simply, you have come a very, very long way. And I know that if God can carry you through all those years of your life, of going through all of those tests, all of those grades, all of those things that you've had to do to get to this point, he can carry you past it. And um, I have a little verse for you guys to listen to here. So, um, actually, my actually my mom Kelly um, said this exact same said this exact same thing. Now, this um, yeah, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. She said this same thing when graduates around our area were coming up here to receive their Bibles. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven says, "For I for I know the plans I have for you," declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Now, as you go into, here's what I want you guys to do. Tonight, before you lay down your head on that pillow and go to sleep, I want you guys to remember that, I want you guys to remember that verse. You can rerun the video if you want to and to listen to it again. Jeremiah 29, 11. You can look it up yourself. But I want you to remember that verse of scripture. Carry it with you to bed when you wake up in the morning and all the days of your life. Because I promise, because I promise you that if God can carry you through all of those days of your life and lead you up to this point of graduation, I guarantee you he can lead you past it. But you just got to trust him. Trust and believe in the Holy Spirit to help you see it through. For he knows the plans that he has for you, not to harm you, but to give you a future. So, Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for allowing me to come up today and preach this lesson here, to speak this lesson, I should say. Now, God, I hope that this benefited anybody that was watching today. Thank you for allowing me to speak it in the way that speaking in the way that you wanted me to. And um, if there's anybody out there that needs it today, God, help this message to reach them and help it to benefit them as well. And in Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. Today was a little bit short, but you know what? That's okay. Because any, because any second counts. So now, like I said, keep that verse of Scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11, Keep that verse of scripture with you. And um, 
Like I said, it, I guarantee you that if God can lead you through all these, all these years of grades, these years of tests, all these things that you guys had to, had to work through, and he, and he carried you all the way here to graduation, He can carry you past that to plans not to harm you, but to give you a future. Now, God bless you guys. Happy Friday. And I pray that you guys have an amazing weekend. God bless y'all.